Hey guys, it's Jire, and today I'm going to be showing you this really cool tool. It's called Skype Utility Project. It makes your Skype a lot better. So, I'm going to show you a few of the features. So, if you go to Advanced under Tools, it adds this whole menu here. And it'll let you do, it lets you add different features to your Skype, like auto focusing chat when you switch contacts. Um, it lets you completely hide ads, including the, the space that the ads would take up. It lets you hide the home toolbar, which annoys me. It lets you hide your identity panel, which is the picture and your own identity at the top left there. It also lets you change the location of notifications. So in my case, I'm running two monitors. I have it se selected so that uh, if I get a notification, it's going to show up at the bottom left of the second monitor. That way, if I'm in a full screen game or video or something, I don't have to all tab out to see the message. It'll just show up on the second monitor at the bottom left. So these are really great features, very easy to use. You can see, like, for example, ads will show up here. A lot of, I'll, you know, I previously did something to block ads on, on Skype, but there's still this big banner space that's taken up for no reason. So this program is actually so effective that uh, it not only hides the ads, but it also completely removes the banner. You can see, just to show you, uh, another great feature is the get rid of the text here is the autofocus so if i click on this guy i can automatically just start typing if i click on this guy i can just automatically start typing there's no need to click on them and then click into this box so i think that's really great so to install it is actually really easy um all you need is the chocolatey package manager for windows if you didn't know about chocolatey uh it's another excellent um tool basically gives you a package manager on windows uh, similar to Yum or apt-get, you can see the description here, or uh, pac, Pac-Man. Um, so all you have to do is just copy this command, paste it into an administrative command prompt, and hit enter, and that's it. And then to install Skype Utility Project, just copy this command. All you have to do is open up an administrative command prompt like this. And then just paste the command in there, hit enter, and you can see I already have it installed. That's really all you have to do. And it'll restart your Skype, and then when your Skype opens back up, you're going to have this advanced menu underneath the Tools tab. So I hope this helped you guys. I find Skype Utility Project excellent. Make sure to star them on GitHub. You know, show some support for them. Um, and also. Uh, if you haven't heard about chocolatey, I hope that uh, also helps you. See you guys.